In this video, I'll show you how to write off fixed asset. A fixed asset can be written off when it is determined that there is no further use for this asset. A write off involves removing of this asset from accounting and posting of additional expense if the accumulated depreciation is less than the initial cost. To access fixed asset write off document, go to accounting, open fixed asset write offs from fixed asset document. To manually create a new document of the fixed asset write off type, click the create button on the toolbar. In this form, you can enter general information about the fixed asset write-off. Use the corresponding column to specify the corresponding GL account for the journal transaction registering the write-off. In the entity field, select an entity of your company for which the document is being prepared. In the department field, you can specify the department associated with this fixed asset disposal. In the expense item field, you can specify an expense item associated with this fixed asset write-off. Use the business activity field to select the business activity with which this fixed asset is associated. The comment text box can be used to specify any additional information about this write-off. Once the main tab is filled, move on to the fixed asset tab. Here you can view the depreciation status of the fixed asset. Click on add to add the fixed asset. In the fixed asset column, select the fixed asset to be written off from the drop-down. The initial cost, the netbook value column, is populated with the initial cost of the fixed asset and its residual cost. Click on calculate option to fill the columns automatically. The accumulated depreciation column is populated with the amounts of the accumulated depreciation. The depreciation for the current month shows depreciation amount calculated for the current month. In the transaction content column, provide a brief comment for the fixed asset being written off. Once both the tab is filled, post the document. To view the entry created, click on view transaction details. The entry will be writing off accumulated depreciation through the entry depreciation of fixed asset debit, credit fixed asset at cost, current period depreciation will be calculated and the remaining book value will be taken as an expense creating the entry debit other operating expense and credit fixed asset at cost that's how you can write off the fixed asset from the database thanks for watching the video